Okay, here's an SRI 8610A GC system. Uh, the unit is fully operational, includes an FID and TCD detector, which are in series. Uh, depending on how you plumb the system, you can either use the FID alone or the TCD, or you can use both of them in series. Uh, the gas connections are to the side of the unit. Um, the helium carrier gas includes its own separate gauge, so you can uh, check right at the source, around 60 PSI here. And then we have a hydrogen inlet gauge here for the FID detector. Um, the unit conveniently has its own air compressor, which provides the air for the FID. Uh, so no need for a separate cylinder for that. Um, we also have regulation for the air and for the hydrogen on the unit. These dials can be changed and uh, by looking at the pressure regulation here on this meter, we can check the pressure and change it to whatever we need to. Next to it is the carrier pre-pressure regulator followed by the column head pressure gauge and, and adjustment regulator. And next to it is also the split flow adjustment and the split flow vent because this unit also has a split inject, split splitless injector. As I mentioned, um, the meter here on the side of the unit can be used to view the pressure or temperature of different parameters on the, on the, the unit. Currently we're looking at the FID air. We can also look at the hydrogen pressure, which is around 22 PSI. The column head pressure is around six or seven PSI. By flipping the switch up, we look at this gauge, which shows the oven set point, the oven actual, the heated injector values, and other values that are pertinent to uh, running the instrument. As I mentioned, the injector is a split, splitless injector. Um, here we also have the FID, the actual FID detector, uh, is currently on, but uh, here is the collect the collection unit, and this is the the vent, the top vent for the FID. The unit, uh, this is the unit's oven. Inside the oven, we have a column, um, and also it has a blower on the side for cooling the oven after high temperature use. Um, what I want to do today was do a quick, quick injection on the unit to show that it's fully operational. I have the FID running currently, so we're going to do a quick butane injection um, so that you can see that everything on the unit is working just fine. Uh, so let me get that set up. I'm going to be taking butane from a simple lighter. Okay, I'm going to be injecting about two microliters of butane gas, and then uh, we'll view the results on uh, the computer. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this top screen here shows the baseline for the FID detector. It's pretty smooth. Um, the bottom is nothing currently, so we're just looking at the top, uh, the top screen. As you can see, the baseline it has a pretty smooth baseline, pretty stable, and let's just wait for the butane to come through. You can also connect the TCD detector. Uh, to an analog digital converter and do the same, get the TCD signal. Um, but unfortunately, I'm only including the GC for sale. The, the computer and the computer system, you'll have to provide your own or provide another analog digital converter um, to get the signal. There are a lot of available units out there. So we're waiting for the butane to come through the column. I used a 30 meter column. Should take about a minute or so.
Alright. So there is our peak for butane using the FID detector. You can even see there's a little impurity right there inside the butane sample. You can see a second peak right there. So the column actually did its job pretty well. Let's take a, a better look at this peak. All right. Great, again, stable baseline, great response. Uh, again, this is the butane out of a lighter, so it probably does have a small impurity in it. Okay. Uh, on the side of the unit also, I want to show um, you have FID um, attenuator control to increase the signal for your analog digital converter. Also the gain, you can set to medium, high, or low. And then you can do a zero offset adjustment for your uh, integrator. Okay, once again, this is an SRI 8610A GC. The unit is completely uh, is fully operational and includes an FID and TCD detector. I just want to quickly show operation of the unit. It's fully fully operational and uh, ready to go. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.